Okay, ladies and genitals, welcome to this week's episode of Is It True? With me and Sean. Um, and today we are looking at a plugin with lots of knobs on it with a name that I don't understand. Uh, and I'm going to hand straight over to McCall SV here. This is the Tone Project's Unisum. Uh, Tone Projects are the people that brought us Baseline and Baseline Pro. Uh, their stuff is generally really interesting and useful. So this is their Mix Bus Processor or Mix Bus Compressor. Okay. Is what it really is. And probably more suited to mastering, mm -hmm. but will absolutely work on your Mix Bus. Um, now it's a wide band compressor. So it, it's not a multi-band compressor, but it has a multi-band detection mm. circuit. Go on. So when you're deciding what is going to trigger the compressor, mm. you can tell it which parts of the frequency band trigger the compressor. Wow. But it's it's compressed as one. Yeah. Uh, okay, so are you able to give us a scenario where that would be a relevant or useful tool? Yes, I am. <laughs> would you like me to? Not really. No. Okay. So, I mean, look... <laughs> Let's say it could, it doesn't have to, we always talk about dance music and the big bottom end. Let's mm. talk about a rock mix with a big hoofing, kick drum all the way through it. You yeah. don't want that to trigger the compressor so that it pumps. Yeah. So we tell the detection circuit to ignore that. Yeah. Just ignore that. Work on the mid range. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you want it to ignore the high end. Maybe there's something going on. Wow. You know, you just, you can, and you, you can totally dig in. You can see the controls. You can totally dig in and tell it, I want you to react to this, but compress the whole thing evenly. It's just amazing how some people really sort of know what they're doing. What, rather than just blagging it? Well, you know. Wouldn't know anything about blagging it, Sean. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it has with, it has some other cool stuff. So there is a transformer circuit in mm -hmm. it, which when you click that, it, it adds harmonics, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, it has... A setting for the release curve so when it when the compressor releases how quickly it releases mm -hmm. what's sc emphasis sidechain emphasis isn't it i've just yeah. worked that out for myself there you go yeah. good uh, there's also a link control in the middle so rather than just having a link or unlink for left and right you can yeah. dial it in which is really interesting so we've talked about this before so let's say you've got a floor tom hammering away in the yeah. tune yeah and it's all over on the left yeah and it's like this is this is just making a whole mix mm. clamp down. You can unlink it, and then it will just clamp on the left. Oh, or maybe okay. that's too weird, and you want it to clamp both. Yeah. Or maybe you just want to dial it somewhere in between. So really useful. You know, it's it's good sometimes to have left and right to be a bit different. Mm. And of course, you get a full fourteen day demo without any noise, don't you? Hmm. Unfortunately, uh, the demo does have some pretty freaky noise mm. that just kicks in every now and again, scares the life out of you. Um, when you're mixing late, late at night with your headphones on. It's terrifying. Even, even sat there over your monitors, it makes you jump. Um, yeah, not a fan of that. No. I get it. Why mm. they have to do it? I have to protect their copyright, but that's a bit annoying. Okay. Uh, anything else we need to go through with this? I don't think so. I think that's just about covered it. But it is, it's, it's not a set and forget kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where probably in a mastering situation, you're going to listen to the song a few times to dial it in yeah to get it to react to the transients just right to get it to to get it to do its thing without it causing issues it will cause issues if you set it wrong mm -hmm. it reminds me a lot of the um it reminds me a lot of the amec mastering compressor okay that was slightly different mm -hmm. easy to ruin your song with yeah but also it's fantastic yeah when you get it right get it this right. is yeah. this is like that okay so the tone projects unison, unison. Yeah. Um, is it shit? Not at all. It's really, really nice. Is it worth $199? I think if you're mastering and you're working in the box, mm -hmm. I would say this would be a really good thing to have. Better than the AMEC? No, I think different. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be completely honest and say I use the AMEC mm -hmm. a lot. I don't use this so much, mainly because the time involved in setting this up, I find this harder to get it to sound like I want it to sound. Right, I see. So it's just a time thing. But I think it sounds great. And I, yeah, they're slightly different. I, I prefer the AMEC, but this might work for other songs much better. There we go. The Tone Project's Unisum. Not shit. Not shit. Um, please, if you've watched the video this far, click the like button. 
and subscribe so you know when we're putting out the next video. Check out our Instagram, Studio Life 101. And we have a Patreon, so you can donate money to keep us going. Which would be nice. That would be nice. And uh, there's loads of sort of relative links and stuff. You know the score. Let down below. Score. Click the links. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you later.